on ungoverned areas. Ungoverned areas is a place where the state or the central government is unable or unwilling to extend control, effectively govern, or influence the local population. Information. A few places in the world are truly ungoverned. Um, an ungoverned area occurs when formal governance breaks down, localized, or informal governance structures tend to emerge. Basically, it's when the government um, can't control the people, thus causing corruption in the country or in the certain area. I'm going to concentrate on Pakistan. Pakistan is located between India and Afghanistan, and it also borders with Iran. Information. Uh, the population of Pakistan is roughly around 187 million. Um, the government type is a federal republic, and Pakistan is mostly an Islamic country, although there are other religious groups in the country. Here's a map of the ethnic diversity. As you can see, there's a lot of different ethnic groups just in Pakistan alone. The literacy rates um, for male, they're 81.3%. For female, they're 63.5%. And youth, it's 94.5%. Um, I believe that the reason that the female literacy rates is low is because it has to do with the religion as well as the country um, women don't have as much rights as men do therefore that is why mm, the male population has a higher literacy rate um, the religion Pakistan is mostly an Islamic country um, nine, over 97 percent of the population is Muslim, and then the remaining three percent is either Christian, Hindu, or other. Like I said, women have very few rights. And this is the flag of Pakistan. The crescent moon represents progress. The star represents um, light and knowledge. And the green background represents the Muslim majority. And this white stripe here, it represents the other religious minorities that are in the country. Corruption. Pakistan is considered the 34th most corrupt country, tied with Kenya, Nepal, and Nigeria. Um, corruption in the country has lasted over 50 years. And the, bri and the um, bribery is prevalent in law enforcement. Um, Transparency International found that 65% of surveyed Pakistanis say that they have bribed the police. Um, the three most corrupt government agencies are the police, 64%, uh, power sector, 11%, judiciary, 9%. Uh, reasons for corruption in the country are the lack of accountability, low salaries, and discretionary powers. Um, public sector services, such as power and utilities, infrastructure, and public works are the most affected by the corruption in the government. Um, Baluchian uh, primary education project was suspended due to corruption. Um, the Baluchistan Primary Education Project is a um, event um, is a project that was intended to help out in the school systems uh, with education, but that got canceled due to corruption in the government. Um, current events. I read an article recently um, as to why Pakistan was a safe haven for Osama bin Laden? And the answer is pervasive corruption. So um, a newly leaked report details how Osama bin Laden could have been caught by any number of government functionaries over the years. And in this article, it explains 
how um, Osama bin Laden was pulled over by law enforcement officials for a speeding ticket and he easily got away. And I have a video um, explaining a little bit about the whole Osama bin Laden thing and how he went unrecognized. And also, I, um, I read this other article how the Pakistan government shut down the LGBT website and said that it was against Islam, morals, and values. Um, I've chose these two articles because I found it funny that the government decided to control a website where it was not harming anybody, but yet they did not report anything any uh, when Osama bin Laden got pulled over for the speeding ticket. They didn't report it, although he had a $25 million price tag pretty much to turn him in. And this concludes my presentation.